JMJ uh, update on his case with his suspects. So apparently, Carl Jordan Jr. has an alibi. According to the court documents, he has an alibi that could put him somewhere else besides the recording studio where JMJ was killed. What is your reaction? This is supposedly going to be real damaging on the uh, the prosecutor's side. What, do you, what are your thoughts? Well, I'm sure the, the, the prosecution is looking into his allegation about him not being there. However, I don't think they would have arrested him and charged him with Jay's death if they didn't have enough evidence to charge him. Uh, they must have had enough information from either other people or the evidence that they gathered to uh, to go after him, to charge him with the murder. So I don't know. We have to wait and see on that one to see where that goes. Mm. Now, this this, uh, this case is uh, set to go to trial soon. The witness is going to take the stand. Um, can it go either way, do you think? I don't know. I, you know, I don't, right now I don't know all the, uh, uh, the evidence that the federal government has. But I'm sure they're going to present it, and I'm sure the, his attorney has, has gotten discovery at time of trial. He'll either got discovery or he'll get it. At time of trial, everything that they have or what they are able to turn over to him, and he'll review what they have and see where it's going to go. Because uh, I don't know right now. Everything is up in the air. So, But, like I, again, they would have not had arrested them and charged them, right. uh, uh, Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Tenard Washington, if they didn't have enough. Correct. Now, would it be really, how would you feel if it somehow, I mean, I hope this has happened just as prevails. How would you feel if this, just this uh, witness can uh, clear Carl Jordan in the murder of JMJ? Well, it's not going to be up for me to clear that him because already he's been accused because, like you said, they arrested him. So they must, have, again, have enough evidence to, uh, uh, to go at him or to present to any jury that implicates him in Jay's death. So I always assume that the information that they got from uh, the uh, uh, defense attorney, his defense attorney about an alibi witness, that they're going to vet that witness, what they call vetting, they'll vet that witness and see what that witness has to say and that witness has to prove it. You just can't have someone right. come up and say, oh yeah, he was at my house on the night of the 15th. He's innocent. That's not gonna work. There's gotta be more to it than that. Now that's a little weird. Uh, Talk to me about that. Like, how does um, someone prove there were some, you know, not at a scene of a crime? This is a crime that went on, like, what? This is 20 years, almost 19, what, 20 years ago? Almost 20 years ago. How do you even prove something like that? Well, that's going to be very hard because, I mean, like, again, you just can't have somebody coming up saying that, okay, he was at my house when he wasn't at the location where the murder took place. That's not going to fly. You know, it's going to have to be more than that. Uh, like I said, I'm sure that the federal prosecutors will listen to what this alibi witness says, who says what he says, and here it's got to be some way to prove it. You got to prove something like that. You know, you just can't say someone's at my house, he wasn't there. And I don't know how you're going to prove it unless you have a clock or some kind of uh, other evidence. Now, somebody come forward, they're going to talk to that witness as well. They have to interview him as well and see if he's credible. He may not even be credible. Mm. How ironic would it be if uh, the witness is Big D, his father? <laughs> it could be ironic. That would be very ironic. And I don't know if they would go with that. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think it would be. I don't think it's his father, but yeah. who knows? I mean, you know, who knows at this time?